Happy video day, guys. Christina Brooke here. So today, I'm doing an update video for you guys. We're gonna be doing a update on Natasha Denona. So you guys know I have this thing that I'm buying everything Natasha Denona for one year. And I usually tell you guys any of the cheese, many of the gossip that's coming out, like something new that's gonna be coming out. And today I actually have something new and exciting to share with you guys. I don't have my camera with me. So I'm actually filming this off of my cell phone. It's funny because I usually always bring my small cannon with me everywhere I go just in case something happens and this one time I didn't bring it and we've got a new palette release. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that I just found out about. There is a brand new mini palette being released from the line. So this is really, really exciting. So we're going to get into everything and I am going to show it to you guys because Trend Mood already put it up so we can put it up and I'll be telling you guys my thoughts on it. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. Of course, if you are not subscribed and you're a huge Natasha Denona fan, don't forget to hit subscribe, join the family and let's jump into it right now. Okay, so like I told you guys, there is a mini palette on its way. So I did get the email update from Natasha Denona. So she sent this out, I believe it was last night, and it was saying there was a mini palette, but on top of it was the midi size bronze. So we kind of already knew since yesterday that it was gonna be a mini bronze, you know? So like, it was kind of like a spoiler alert. So we knew this, right? And I was kind of excited because, believe it or not, this is actually really funny. I'm doing my five day challenge and the five day challenge palette that I picked to use was the Natasha Denona bronze. So huge coincidence. I think me and Natasha were on the same brainwave here, you know? So basically I've been using the Natasha Denona bronze for the past week and a half. I only have one day left to film. So I have been dissecting that palette for you guys during my five day challenge. So I kind of feel like I know this palette so well. It's like really fresh in my memory. And then she's releasing now the mini bronze. So first initial thought was this could be so cute, right? Because <clears throat> because a bronze palette to me is so useful. I feel like it's those warm, beautiful colors that we love to reach for during the summertime to look like a bronze goddess. Like it's just, it's like a cool palette, right? But also I feel like the bronze, the midi bronze gave us a lot of really pretty shades. And I actually really love the midi bronze. There is a few problems with it. And when you see my five day challenge, you see that I do start to notice a few things about it, but you know, I thought that maybe the mini could take some of the stuff that I was missing from the midi, right? Mini midi, almost sounds like the same word, right? Anywho, so they did release an image of what it's going to look like. It's up on trend mood. So I'm gonna throw it up on the screen because it's all over the internet already. And this is what it looks like. So staring at this guys, this looks so similar. Like it is like almost the same in my opinion to the actual midi bronze like the shades there's even like the yellowy kind of um beige color then there's the the taupe there's the reddish browns and then that like true copper shade these are like identical to what i see in the midi bronze I'm actually kind of shocked because Natasha Tenona kind of does this sometimes. Either she will stray completely away from the midi and it will be inspired by, but it won't look like it, or she'll do like exact duplicate. <laughs> this reminds me of like how Metropolis, the mini Metropolis was, that it was like literally almost the Metropolis palette. But supposedly all of these shades are not existing. So these are supposed to be all new shades which confuses me because I'm telling you, these look so similar in these swatches to the original midi bronze. So I am a little on the confused side because I do, I do feel like it looks identical. <laughs> so I keep staring at this going, okay, if you have the midi bronze, why exactly should you buy this? And, um, there's not many times that I say, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm the, you know, her palettes, you can pop the shades out of, so you can create your own mini bronze, very simple using shades that look almost identical. I'm sure that the undertone of the new palette has to be different than the old one because she is saying that they're new shades. At least that's what the world is saying. I don't know if that is true because she hasn't actually announced that yet, but. It almost looks the same, like, I don't know. So 
the only other thing that I was looking at is there's a lot of like those reddish tone brown mattes in there and I don't get it because what I thought was really missing from the midi bronze was like a rich dark reddish brown that was almost cool tone like just really 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 dark red a really really dark brown because I feel like when I'm using the midi bronze every once in a while that's just what I'm missing like there's one really deep reddish brown in there but it's just not deep enough i wanted something even deeper than that and i was actually thinking if she released a mini bronze that would be really interesting if she would include include like a really deep rich reddish brown that kind of could go back to you know the real the mini the midi bronze and like work together I'm a little confused with this mini. I don't think it's an ugly mini. I think that if you don't own the midi bronze or if you're somebody who wants like a bronze small palette, these are the colors that will create a beautiful bronze lid. I am pretty sure that her quality is gonna be good. Usually her minis are very good, but I'm just looking at it going, I wanted more. And I could just be being a little bit um, selfish because I, own the midi bronze and you know this palette is for everybody and there's going to be people out there that may not own any of Natasha Denona palettes and they might think that this is perfection but as somebody who has a lot of her palettes already and gets kind of excited for the mini versions thinking that they're going to be a little bit different I feel like this one's very similar like it is so similar I have to do a make up your mind on it. I am gonna be searching through my collection to try to find this palette for you guys. So we have more mini bronze content coming. And next week, I am going to be posting my five day challenge using the mini bronze, you know, so that you guys can kind of get an idea of the looks that you're gonna create with that. And I'm I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be kind of similar. At least there's gonna be, there's gonna be a real nice tie between the two. I think it's just too much similar it's like too similar it's too similar you know so that is my thoughts right now i'm excited for the palette but i'm not no i'm not really excited that's the truth i'm not really excited for this palette because i feel like i just used this palette for a week and a half with the bronze palette <laughs> So it's kind of, it's too similar in my opinion. I think Natasha Denona being so creative, I wonder why they did something so similar to their existing palette. That's my view on it. Um, it is gonna be a $25 mini. I also think her minis are usually not, I mean, it's not the cheapest if you think about it. For $25, you're only getting five shades. So I don't know, the midi is like 65 and you're getting a lot more shades and a lot of these shades look like they should have been already in the midi. So, hmm, I don't know. I think that this one's a toss up. If you own the midi bronze, I need to do a make up your mind. But like right now looking at it, like if I was you and I had the midi bronze, I would not be excited. I'd be like, okay, well this is for you know, maybe the people who don't own midi bronze that want to have a bronze palette, that's who I think that this is targeted for. It's not, in my opinion, targeted for the people who already own the midi bronze to do an extension of it. I don't think so, because it doesn't look like it. It just looks so similar. So that is the tea. That is what is coming out. Be excited for the announcement. I'm sure Natasha is going to release it on Instagram probably tonight or tomorrow morning. You're going to see the sneak peek of what it's going to look like, which you guys already saw it, but I sure, I'm sure she'll do the swatches and all that stuff and it, it's going to look beautiful. Oh, also there's only one metallic. So the one metallic is that really beautiful foilish um, coppery shade, like coppery gold which is interesting. So the rest of them are mattes. I find that also to be a kind of interesting um, idea. You know, I think there could have been maybe one more metallic in there, maybe two metallics and three mattes, I think is a better, you know, I don't know. I also feel like in the midi bronze, she gave us so many coppery golds. Like it was like coppery gold over coppery gold. And that's not really like the only color that's good for like a bronze lid. You know, we could have had like an orangey metallic with a little champagne in it. That would have been like amazing, like so different. 
And then you could throw us that coppery gold with a really rich, deep brown. And then, you know, like little blending shades, something interesting, maybe even play on a peach. That would have been kind of cool. Oh my gosh, that looks like the midi bronze, but it's not, like it's not at all. Those are the shades we were missing. That's what I wish for, but that's not what we got. We got this. So I wanna know from you guys down below, are you excited? Do you feel like me? Leave me those comments. And anyways, that's all I have for today's video. This was a quick impromptu video. I don't even think it's gonna be that long. Hopefully it's not that long because I don't know how I'm gonna airdrop a long video from my cell phone to my laptop. Hopefully it works fine. But anyways, I wanted to do this video either way. So that is what I'm giving you guys today. Don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe for more updates and You'll be getting a Make Up Your Mind on the Mini Bronze, a Make Up Your Mind on the new Pat McGrath. There is going to be the five day challenge coming. So lots of new, really fun videos on their way. So thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.